Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Nowadays, we have made a habit of shopping online. We used to purchase different products online, but do you know how these products are being set up? Today, we are going to learn how a bundle structure can be set up using Salesforce CPK. Following is the structure that we are going to configure in Salesforce CPQ. According to the structure, there will be a product called laptop, which will be a bundle product. There will be two features, core and add-on under that laptop product. And there are several product options that we are going to configure, which will be available under laptop, which are mouse, keyboard, and light pad. So how those uh, products and features will look like under uh, laptop bundle so here it is so here we can visualize like a laptop will be a product under core component on the core feature will be having two products mouse and keyboard and under add-on feature will be having one product called light man so now let's see how we can create those things in Salesforce CPQ so I'm going to Salesforce CPQ I hope you can see my screen. I'm on the product tab where we can click new and create new product. I'm not going into creation of the product as I have already set up the product. So this is the laptop product that we have set up. As we saw in the hierarchy, we have two features, those we have created, core, add-on, and the product laptop itself, right? now. Once we are set up with the product, like a laptop product, we're gonna do one thing. We have to create price book first. So standard price book that we have created. This can be zero price as well. Now, for us right now, we are using custom price book. So we have created one price book called electronic and created a price book entry for this particular product, which is having price as $1,800. So after that, we have to create few more products, right? As we saw in the visual hierarchy, there are several products that we have to make as an option, option to laptop, right? So those are mouse, keyboard, and light pad. So the same way that we created laptop bundle or laptop product, we're gonna create mouse, keyboard, and light pad. Again, we are going to create price book like standard price book and the custom price book entry for this particular product whichever we create like mouse keyboard and light man so once we are done with pricing setup we have to actually create uh, product features and product options right so how are we gonna do that we are to uh, create those things we have to go to laptop and over here there is a tab called feature we have to click new button using which we'll be able to create a new feature but for now we have already created two features for us which are core and add-on now after creation of features we're gonna need product options as well right so here there is a related list called option right we have to click new button which will allow us to create options for that particular laptop product we are not going to cover this or we are not going to see how that can be done because we have already created those so if I open one of this product option we can see several fields available under that right so there is a number field which controls the order of the option that we are going to see on cart right the other thing is the feature which is core or add-on like under which feature we want to show our option product there is a field called optional skew which is a lookup to the product that is going to be an option for laptop product and over here there is a configure skew that is the main bundle product that we have to set up right and there are several other fields like selected if you want to have an option as auto selected you can check this checkbox and because of that our product will be default selected when we go on to the configuration page 
there is something called require so a require checkbox is used when we do not want user to alter the selection of any particular uh, product option so consider a scenario if you have defaulted defaultly selected some product and you do not want user to uncheck that particular product then you can mark this quant, uh, required checkbox as check so user will not be able to deselect that particular options from selection quantity we can provide default quantity and there are several other fields that we are going to discuss later on in another video so the same way we have created other product option record which will be used for keyboard and the third one that we have created which will be used for light pen you see in feature previously for previously two uh, product option we were having feature as score but now we are having feature as add-on because we want to show light pen in different feature which is add-on so that's why we have set up it in this way and we are done right so let's see how this bundle structure looks like when we configure a quote so i am on a quote i am on a product selection screen when where i am able to see laptop product so i have selected this checkbox and let me click select button we can see right as configured the product option we are able to see mouse and keyboard available under core feature and if you click on add-on we'll be able to see light pen available as an add-on as we have configured in product option right so the other thing is i i told you like how a product can be defaulted right so if i go ahead and select this checkbox i'll click save i'll come again over here so now mouse will be automatically selected when we go to configure laptop screen so i'll click on add product i'll check the checkbox i'll click select button and you see this got auto selected but a user can deselect it right now if we do not allow user to deselect this one we can mark the selected checkbox and required checkbox as well and now let me provide some quantity over here so that we can see how default quantity from here works right so i'll save this i'll go over here i'll refresh the page i'll go to add product select the checkbox click select button and now you see this checkbox called got grayed out right so now we will not be able to deselect this and we have got quantity as 12 but see this quantity cannot be changed right because we haven't made it configurable so that can be also configured whether we want to allow a user to change the quantity of product option or not and how it can be done we have to go to product option record that we have created click edit and check this checkbox which is quantity editable and save it we are done with that so now i'm going to refresh the page we'll add again laptop product to card select that product and over here the checkbox is grayed out but we can change the quantity right so that way we can allow user to change the quantity or make it read only now I'll select light pen as well and I'll select keyboard as well and we'll click save button which will take us to cart where we can visualize like how our product structure looks like so this is laptop product the bundle product that we see this is mouse this is keyboard and light pen that we have selected if you have seen uh, laptop and uh, laptop was having price as $1,800 mouse and keyboards are included like so whenever we purchase a laptop if you want to set up something like the mouse and keyboard comes with that without any cost right we can also do that part as well and that's the same thing that I have done now 
let's see what was the price for it right so if we see over here the price for unit price for mouse and keyboard was 50 but it came as zero price because those bundles options are included in bundle right so how that can be done there is a setting for that so when we edit any particular product option there is a checkbox called bundle so if that checkbox is checked then the price for that particular options will not be contributed to the total and it will be marked as included so we have several we have seen several scenarios in our day-to-day -day life as well right so when we purchase any item online uh, there are several other options which we are getting under it right which are not having any price which are zero price but when we uh, purchase those options standalone like uh, when we purchase not that uh, let's say consider a situation when we purchase keyboard or mouse and we are not purchasing laptop at that time we would get charged right but when we purchase laptop uh, along with mouse and keyboard we are not charged with charge for mouse and keyboard so see how simple it was to configure a product so the same way visual hierarchy can be created and that's the way like we can set up the product structure please please subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this feel free to comment like which kind of videos you want to we want me to cover and i'll be com coming with those kind of videos for sale for cpq related topics and we'll meet again thank you